Hi there. In the introduction to this course, we saw that the concept of risk has appeared relatively recently. It has since become a central concept in our society and our economy. Risk is a cornerstone notion for businesses and organizations, but also for nation states and their many levels of government. And even for individuals, risk and the avoidance or embracing thereof is a key theme. It's not surprising that the study of risk has also become an academic enterprise. If risk is such a vital concept for our times, we need a proper scientific understanding of the many causes of risks, of their likelihood and potential impact. Moreover, we need to have a proper understanding of the preventative or reactive measures we can take to address specific risks. Over time, the concept of risk has taken root in two radically different academic domains, in security studies and in safety science. In this video and the next one, we will look at these two academic domains, at the way in which they understand risk and the specific types of risk they address. This first video focuses on risk as it is studied in the field of security studies. Security studies is a field of study that fits within the larger academic domain of international relations. The latter itself is a subdomain of political science, one of the social sciences. As this positioning shows, security studies targets a specific theme, security, within the context of international relations, that is, within the context of interstate behaviors. Security studies emerged as a new field in the middle of the 20th century in direct response to the Second World War and the Cold War. Academics in the field argued that we needed to get a better understanding of the ways in which nation states deal with the theme of security in the international arena. They wanted to get a deeper understanding of interstate dynamics of the ways in which states deal with power, power struggles and conflict. And they wanted to gain more insight into the strategies that nation states develop to increase their own security. Over time, scholars in the field of security studies started to broaden the scope of their field of study in two ways. Originally, the field focused almost exclusively on the role of nation states in generating and dealing with security risks. Nowadays, it also studies the role of other levels of government, and it studies the ways in which large corporations or even groups of citizens or individuals can shape security risks. Second, the range of themes that are studied under the umbrella of security studies has also broadened. Traditionally, security studies focus predominantly on interstate conflict. Later on, the field also started to study conflicts within specific nation states, for instance, civil wars. In recent decades, the focus has broadened further to include themes such as terrorism and political violence, international crime and security in cyberspace. In security studies, the focus of study lies predominantly with gaining a better understanding into the causes of risk. Security studies aims to understand why risks emerge. Moreover, the vast majority of the field focuses on risks that are intentionally generated by human beings. A couple of examples should clarify this. Scholars that are interested in understanding war and international conflicts study the dynamics of international politics and the mechanisms through which nation states negotiate power struggles. War and international conflict are intentionally instigated. They don't just happen. The risk generated here, then, is one that is actively initiated by human actors. Similarly, scholars that are interested in understanding terrorism study the reasons why people become terrorists, why or how they radicalize, for instance, and which factors play a role in their choice to conduct terrorist attacks. Terrorism is a form of intentional harm that is generated willfully and consciously by individuals against others. Here, too, the risk is generated, actively initiated by human actors. On a more general level, we may conclude that security studies focuses on one specific subset of risks, 
threats to security. Security threats are forms of harm against other people or systems that are intentionally caused by other people. Security studies focuses only on this type of risks and seeks to help us improve our understanding of the causes of such risks. So, what have we learned? First, that risk has become an important topic of study in two different academic domains, security studies and safety science. In this video we focused on security studies. We found that this field emerged in the middle of the 20th century and focused on interstate relations at first. Later on, it broadened its area of study to include other actors as well, such as other levels of government, businesses and groups of citizens. Moreover, it broadened its scope to include other types of security risks, not just wars between nation states. Now, it studies all forms of intentional threats that are actively, willfully initiated by human beings and targeted at other human beings. In the next video, we will look at the other academic domain in which risks are studied, safety science.